I'm not losing my husband for any woman too. I won't do it. All because he cheated. Maybe the fault is coming for me. Maybe my husband has got history from his background. We need to deal with this thing very carefully. People should not just sit there and get angry and react because they have pains. You have pains as if you should channel the pain to become a revenge on somebody. No! If the man made the... You said, my dear, I, I wanted to talk to you. If the men make mistakes, if they don't know where they are coming from, you are his helpmate. Women should get this right. We are not here. Me, I'm not here to, me, I'm a Christian. I'm not here to change it. The biblical truth is that the Lord brought the women to be helpmates to the men. So if you help a man, there's nothing wrong with it. If he wants to cheat on you, his punishment, he can't run away from it. But my issue is that, so he cheated on you today. You divorce. You go and meet another man. Is that person an angel? The same person can also do the same thing. So let's get solutions on what to do to help those men that cheat. I'm not saying it's good to cheat and it's so, wrong. So, mommy, what are some of the solutions? That is when the man can get a supporting wife who knows how to pray, who knows how to channel her issues on her knees praying. Now, this generation don't believe in prayer. They don't believe on the foundation of God. We want to do things on our own. You see, the guy even met you at the club. And the guy married you to his home. Make sure you go with prayer because a guy you met at the club who can beat you at any time, can cheat on you at any time. Because he will go back to the club without you because you'll be pregnant that day and go and sleep with another girl you will meet at the club. We should we should just check the foundation. Look at you, look at me. I, w I went to church. That's why I met my husband. I went to church. And whilst I, they were praying, they were praying, I just joined. And then I, I, I think I fell. I didn't know what happened. But my husband was the one that picked me to the pulpit. But I never liked it because I, I saw him to be too holistic. And we have gone to school, so we work, you know, Joe, Joe, guys, and all that. But for him, from his head to his toe, he's too holy. Everything about him, he's <laughs> I, I, I didn't like him at the onset. I didn't like him because women, some of the women, we want, excuse me to use the word, they, 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 those who don't have sense. It's true. I will use my, as an example, but what my husband took two years for me to say yes. But then he can call me and I'll pick the call and I'll put the, uh, the phone be, be, just right be, beside the TV. He will speak to the TV. I won't pick it. He will send me money. I wouldn't even call to say thank you. I didn't want him because he comes, he's too gentle with his suit. Everything about him is too gentle. And I don't like yeah. men like that. I want him to come with the jeans, with the lacrosse, you know, with your, your sneakers and all that. Those were the men I was looking for. All those men I followed, nobody was able to take me to my father's house. But I wanted just your your boys on campus, you know, you know, campus guys, you know, you, you flex with him anywhere you go with him, everybody cheers you. Oh, your guy is good, my dear. If that is your motive, you are dead. When I married my husband, for so many years we fought because we're not clicking. Because the way he is and the way I am, we're like, you know, that he will not allow you to hug him outside, all those things. But my dear, I grew to love this man, I have become a better woman today. Those dreams that I was having, whatever, whatever. I, I, not me, I was a fool then. This is what women need to learn. Accept you made a mistake. Correct your mistake. Don't take your head to re re revenge on somebody. Don't be, so, so your husband made a mistake. Your husband went out. He didn't know. That's why we need to pray for our men when they go out. He went out for a party. The, the company's party. And then maybe the secretary also wanted the husband. The husband never knew. And they gave the husband a drink. And out of that drink, not knowing really something was put inside. She, she, she just wanted to have the man. And the husband got drunk. And before your husband realized the next morning, the lady was right beside him. Do you leave that man? I'm not leaving my husband. No. So who is listening to me today? If you can't sacrifice for the man you say you love, then your love, there's a problem with your love. If it, because God has come to son, give, they give the son for us. Who are we? Are we perfect? So, mommy, I'm not cutting you, but in mm -hmm. this con contest, mm -hmm. if you sacrifice for a man and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the man disappoints you, what mm -hmm. do you do? And yet, let's not ever expect that any good we'll do will get a good result. Yeah. This is what we need to be clear about. Women need to understand that it's not all the men that will appreciate what we do for them. But those men, give yourself 10 years, you go and look for them, you will see them begging. No matter what you do to somebody's daughter or somebody's son today, you will pay back. My dear, 
But sometimes God allow us to go through some things for a reason. He said all things are working together for our good. Maybe that man came into your life to teach you a lesson. So that the next time you get another platform, you know how to tell the next lady, be careful. You can love him, but love with your mind. You cannot expect all the men you go out with to give you what you are giving them back. No. Some will pretend that, oh, we love you. Tima is the best woman. He will try to tell you everything for you to know, oh, this one is mine. We are going. Before you know, he has traveled out without even telling you. He will go and marry somebody. You can, Come on, this is not my class. It's not about class, oh. It's not about class. You can have all the... Mm, the that, that's right. is. that is why I tell all the women, when they, when they look, they want to look, I don't know whether it's naked or I don't know what is happening to our, our world anyway, but everybody wants to show something. Maybe. They wear the shorts and they, they think um, and the, the men want to know what's... If a man wants to have a good sex, they can go for the prostitute. It's not about sex. It's about something inside you, you need to learn. A woman who knows how to pray, I'm telling you, your marriage will last. It's not going to be easy. You have credo. I've got my marriage. I've gone to her. I packed my things. I can't even count it. Let me yes, my I can't get it out of my marriage. I can't even count it. I've I walked out several because I couldn't take it. I couldn't handle it. Sometimes I no, I pick my case in the car. Maybe 11 p.m. I'm gone. My mm -hmm. husband will do it in the because I couldn't take it. I couldn't breathe. But anytime I go, my father will tell me, you will stay home. Because from where I am coming, my father knows that their background, we don't marry children. Women will marry no matter how beautiful you are, you come back. My father told me, you are not coming. You need to go back. My father was the one pushing me to go. Go, go, go. You will stay. He said, I get angry. I have to come. No, bring the spiritual things that backs us. And later when I realized, no, I have a limitation in my background. I need to break it. I need to go on my knees with prayer. So marriage is about prayer. If we can't pray and we want to look good, and um, it's my shame, I'm going to the gym. But there's no gym issue. Women, we can just, uh, some of the stars here, they go to gym. They are beautiful. Do they have husbands? They married today, they are working at God, they have patience, they can't wait. He cheated on me. When I saw the calls, I saw the messages, he, he's sleeping with somebody. So if you see somebody, so what? Do I, do I want my man? Then why don't I pick him up? The reason I said they should sleep, uh, make love to him, is that the men, when they cheat on you, they know you, have, they, you caught them. They're expecting you to get angry when they come. They're expecting you to react when they come. Why won't women change for a day? Why won't we surprise the men? Let your husband come while she knows you caught him. And he said, my dear, just pack your things. Go wash down. He'll be looking at you with an eye because he is expecting you to shout and insult. I'm not insulting you. And God, that's why we say, need God to give us a good heart. He should create in us a, a new heart. Heart where we can endure the pain. Listen, and after you tell him to go and wash, he will go like somebody who is crazy. Mumu, you'll be pushing him and he's going because he is expecting you to react. You are not reacting. He finished bath for you, drawing him back when you sit down. Get something. He thinks you are poisoning him. It will be a problem for him. Eat with him. Then you'll be confident to eat after eating. When you make love to a man, after he knows he has cheated, finish making love, he'll be like a baby to you. Anything you tell me, you will listen. Oh my dear, I'm sorry. My dear, I know I made a mistake. He's ready to come down like a man. A sex that cripples them. Let's not say, because you did it, I, I'm wearing jeans. That women are making mistakes. Don't wear jeans to prevent him. Rather, remove the jeans and go naked. Make love to us. And making love to him, he will go, he will go crawl back to his shell, then go close and tell him, my dear, what are you doing to yourself? You are killing me. I am dying. If you love me, because the Bible says, the men should love the women as they love themselves. So the women will reverence them. Reverence means, in English dictionary, means that I need to, somebody I'm afraid of. Tell me, when I see, I, I should. If God has told me to do it, who is smart to tell me I shouldn't do, I shouldn't do it? That's the Bible says, we go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33. It said, the men should love the women as they will love themselves. And the women should reverence the men. Reverence means I should be afraid of my husband. Go to the Bible and read it. So it means that if the man will love me the way he loves himself, I don't care if I will sleep on the floor for my husband to put his feet at my back. I will do that with good heart because he loves me. He doesn't treat me bad. And I will treat him like a king. Wow. So after making love to him, your husband will care about Sakwala. Then you'll be able to communicate with him. My dear Kobuna, what is it? There's something I'm, I'm not doing right. Tell me, I'm ready to do so. I'm ready to do everything for you to be at home because I'm scared of you. Can't you can't get anything, any sickness? And when you do, I can also get infected. The moment you do that, or yet they said, Dang, that woman, that man will come down. This is what I'm trying. I'm trying to tell women to do. Let's change it. Let's change the fact that he comes and you're angry. Where did you go to? I check your phone and then I please, please. They, they, they've had enough of that. The Bible says it's only sex that will push you out of the marriage. The Bible has given you that right to do it. But it said, it's a open if you want. 
and you know your man has cheated, you want the man, take him back. So if you think I haven't cheated, you don't want him again, let him go. No problem about it. But when you let him go, maybe you, you stay you stay alone. But if you want another man, men are men. We need pray. it's only prayer that sustains marriage. We should understand this. It's only prayer, my dear. My marriage is because I've gone to counseling school, yes, but I don't care about the counseling school. This one is divine. Because all the school I went to, I came home and all I saw was it's uh, excuse me to use the word foolish thing because I use my book. Anytime my husband is doing something, I check the book, I check uh, this one doesn't connect to the my dear. Nothing worked for me. Later I went to my altar or at the church and I know I cried to God, Father, let your will be done. Should I leave or I should stay? My dear, it is prayer. Young ladies should listen to us. No matter how big you think you are, you have money, whatever. The man is the man, he's the head of the home. Women should just understand. Pray for your man. Love him the way he's supposed to be loved. Treat him like a king. Wow. So if they don't understand, that is it. God should help them. <laughs> All right. Thank you Whoa. so much, mommy. That is so insightful. It's time we have to, you know, go. But this is so much for me. I mean, I have taken so much in just, I think, in, in about 20 minutes or 15 minutes. It's the whole world to me. So thank you so much, Mami, for coming. And everybody appreciates you. People need your number. People need your number. I mean, people have been asking me. Wait, can you, even people that I don't know on Instagram, can you send me the video? When you say videos, to me, to me send it. And for Instagram, they just asking and all that. Mami, what's the power of a man? The power of a man is, is supposed to rule. That the, the man is God. Okay. People, we should just understand. God claims man as God. That's that's it. There's nothing. We so can't that have, is the power. That is it. The, the, you see, men will always rule. That's how God did it. Before the woman came, God gave the power to a man to name everything God created. Okay. Men have got power. Women should understand. It is man that called the woman a woman. Yeah. So women are not supposed to rule. You will ruin the man's kingdom. You came to meet them. Why do you want to rule? Because there are some points that women are president or women have money. No, 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 no. It is okay to be a, a president. It is okay. That one, it's okay. But we just have to get the mentality, that, the mindset. That we, did, we are not saying the men should s enslave the women. No. Mm. But women should understand that my role is to submit to the man. His role is to love me. If he won't love me, I'm not fighting him. I'm going to submit. God will work on him. That's how the Bible, we shouldn't change. The Bible said, the man is the head of the woman. So as God is the head of the church. That is final. So he said that reverence the man as you will reverence God. If God says this, go to Ephesians chapter 5, 33 is there. If I'm wrong, they should go and check. He said, women should reverence their husbands as they will reverence God. It means that God has placed man as God for us. But God didn't say the man should enslave women or, or treat them bad. He said, love the woman the way you love yourself. If you love yourself, you, you, you won't want to treat the woman. So men are supposed to rule. They are kings and we are queens. Until the man says you are my queen, my dear woman, please will submit. If you get angry, you don't get angry. You need to submit. Women should listen. They should get back from their high horses. And because sometimes and when they go to school, I mean, my issue is with those who have gone to school. Yeah. They think they know too much, man. Yeah, it's not your book that matters. So, Bible has said it, and it's what is happening. You need to start submitting. Let the man love you. If he won't love you, pray, pray about it. You know, the man didn't love you, and he went for it. So, go and enjoy, enjoy it. Many women know this man doesn't love me. You went in for his money, you didn't love him too. You went for money. Now, you go to the man, you got the guy, you got the house. He has married your third wife. Now, you are crying. Why, guy? He doesn't give me time. What time do you want? What time do you want? We men, some, some of us, we call for our own problems. Yeah. And we refuse to accept our fault. They be only here, me, I disagree. If you disagree, stay there and disagree out till you die. You see that you agree now. Respect your husband. If this man is my man, I'll go back on his name, my dear. My dear, I want to respect you. Just love me. And that's it. What is it? So if I tell my husband, my dear, what will he eat? Wash him, make, make sure he eats and everything. What is wrong with it? He's not, are you going to bully me if I love you? They won't bully you. Unless you go for a man who is a bully, you knew he's a bully. His background is bully background, and you still went for him. What is your problem? They knew those guys when they drink. You went to club with him when he drank. It was very rough. You knew it, and you said yes, I do. Now that he's beating, you're telling me that uh, I didn't know. You show it. Prayer. It is prayer that will help you. They should stop talking and start praying. That is the best thing. Women submit. Men love the women. Simple.
Wow, powerful. Thank you so much. Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Odro, the woman with so much wisdom and full of words. So, Mommy, can you leave your number? Because a lot of people are, you know, if I don't ask of the number today, I'm not sure tomorrow I can be able to visit Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because they have, they've, they've asked me. I want you to, I know maybe you have a side number that you can want, you want to give to them. Okay, my numbers are, um, I think I'll give only one. That is 055, because after this program, the calls that I've got, eh, and the messages on my phone, some, some just don't get it, but you'll get it, don't yeah. worry, time you understand. I know why you're angry, your head, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. Just relax. God bless you. God will heal you. My number, my number is 055 and I thank God for my husband. I, if I if I if told my husband, I wouldn't be here because I was hot. They should understand. I'm coming from my ghetto. I could tell my zongo. That is why I was, I'm not uh, that the bow. I'm from the zongo. We need to survive. I survived to now. But when I married my husband, I'm leaving. People are wow. surviving, but I'm leaving now. When you want to survive, you survive on anything. You need to do anything to survive. You don't need to survive. Leave. Start leaving. You live with God. You don't care about money. You don't care about car. All you care about is God. Give me grace to start. Give me grace. So I'm leaving. I'm not surviving. I don't need to do anything to survive. I